Welcome ladies and gentlemen to my second in a series of videos with a series of tutorials for Gmod Pack 3. Today we will be going over how to create animations. This is a basic tutorial and we will not be going over every detail, rather how to create a specific animation. If you would like me to go over every aspect of the animator, let me know down in the comments. Any response is greatly appreciated and will be considered for the next video I publish. Our first step is to open up the animation editor. This is done the same way as Pack, except in the C menu select Animation Editor instead of Pack. As you can see, you can rotate by clicking and dragging, and zoom in and out with the slider in the right options panel. Next, we need to open a new animation. Do this by clicking the corresponding button. Then, type in a title in the Animation Name text box. Here, we will be setting up folded arms, so I name my animation stance underscore arms underscore folded and change the animation type to stance. This only matters in certain types of animations, but not here. Then click Begin. Here I am showing how to edit the bones of the model. It is sped up. But there is a box labeled Bone underscore Set, where you select the set of bones you would like to edit. Just under this is a selected bone, the exact bone you are currently editing. This box is how you choose the bones to move about, such as the left upper arm. You may need to mess around with each bone set and each bone to get the desired effect. We need to extend the animation and create a restart position. I like to set the frame length for the first sequence for 0.5. This makes the beginning of the animation quick and simple. Then we need to right click and duplicate frame to end. Do this twice. After this we need to right click where you want to restart the animation, in my case the second sequence, and click make restart position. Finally we need to save. To do this click the box labeled save animation to file and then click save. This will save it to the animation folder. But the animation is not turned on or added to pack. Let's do that now. This is where the push or other file sharing programs come in handy. Open up your file sharing program. Here I am using push which is also called sharex. With this particular program, you can click Upload, then File, and upload the file you need. It should be named as what you saved it as. Finally, copy the link. You will need this. Now return back to your game and open up Pack. Right click anywhere, then hover over Advanced, then click Custom underscore Animation. In the URL box, paste the link we just copied from the file sharing program. Now create an event by right clicking on the group and clicking event. In the event box type command or click the three dots and find the command option. Either one is fine. In the find box type in a command reference. Here I use arms folded. After this drag the event to the animation we created earlier. This should activate the animation. To stop this from happening we need to tick the invert box on the event. Next, go into your console and type the following. Bind key quotation pack underscore event the reference that you created to quotation. The two will toggle the animation when you hit the predefined key. Hit enter to apply. In the pack editor, make sure to hit apply, then exit the pack editor. Here you can see the animation at work. If you think this video was helpful, feel free to share it with others. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as future gaming videos. If you have any questions, I would love to hear them. I am always open to new types of videos and other media. If you would like to play games with me, let me know. I play Gmod on the MVG Multiverse Gaming Community. If you would like to find out more about this community, head over to www.multiverse-gaming.uk. I look forward to seeing you all in-game and in the comments. This is your favorite Moomoo, signing off.